The Biden administration is planning on levying new taxes on China, specifically, I think, in like EV and medical spaces, different different things. Um, this is kind of interesting because one of the big problems that's currently happening within China, inside China, is an economic collapse. Obviously, it's an, what we call a controlled but 100% economic collapse by a communist party that hides the information. So it happens, but no one sees it happening. And then in like five to 10 years, they wake up and be like, wow, our country has been completely destroyed. And many people flee that. That's how it kind of works. And we're seeing hundreds of thousands of Chinese nationals coming to the United States and other countries fleeing the economic hellscape that has become China for a huge swath of the population. So why is Joe Biden doing this? Well, it's, it's very much unclear what the goals are going to be. Is it to try to do regime change, try to get them to do climate change, which is what they were discussing recently, maybe try to get them to not take over Taiwan, but that would be, that would do the opposite. If the, the, the less China has in the country, the more of a chance it invades another country. That's kind of how it works. Economic incentives are your country is good, you don't want to invade. But if your country is bad, then of course you want to invade. There's no reason to stay at home. So you can only win. There's nothing really to lose anymore, which is currently what's happening to China. So I don't really understand. You know, I get it. They have to fight the Belt and the, what's it called, the Belt and Road Initiative, that's taking place throughout the world. But this is the way isn't to starve China. The way is to make America better that people want to actually make deals with us because we are a very unreliable trade partner right now we can throw people under the bus at split seconds and every country that we deal with somehow gets embroiled in either a civil war or another country attacks them so I don't think like massive tariffs and sanctions and whatever on these countries is the right way to go specifically because they are in a specific type of economic collapse where the elites have all the money and the millions of poor people in the country, they're the ones that feel it. And uh, you can't overthrow these governments. It's almost impossible. The bureaucracy is so thick, so strong. There's almost no way to throw the CCP. The only real way to do this is through economic revival, revival. and uh, through the people becoming wealthy and wanting to stay wealthy, which is almost impossible in a communist country, and they want it, they would change to a democracy. That's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know down below, and I'll see you.